Hey everybody, I'm APH. Welcome to Timberborn. Now we are on the Thousand Islands map, taking a quick look over it with the actual Iron Teeth Beavers. Now we are on hard mode, something a little bit different than the last playthrough. Last playthrough was just kind of getting accustomed with the game. Now taking a look, we've got some trees in here, we've got some berries, we've got a low area right here. This could be good for the future and taking a look up our river. We've got an absolutely huge amount of water up here, but it's actually far away, and there's no way to really control this. Is placing a dam across there is just not viable. Placing a dam across here would probably kill us. That means that we have to get to probably this reservoir over here fairly quickly in order to detonate that barrier and create a, a water source. Now, my goal for this, ep this series is we are going to be playing extremely tall. As I think that's the way to actually play these guys. Let's get started with placing down some some foresters over here and let's increase their actual working shift to 24. I know I'm an absolute monster, but trust me, it's necessary. And their motto is work, work, work. So it goes with their motto. Now we'll be dropping that down when we start actually introducing some things. But for right now, well, we need to actually get some things accomplished. We're going to plan on five lumberjacks as we've got five workers then we're going to place two water storages let's uh, go ahead and not water storages water pumps right in here we're going to pause one of them as the first one's kind of not as important as the you know the the actual first one the second one's not as important as the first one we'll place a road around here we're going to plan on a walkway down and we're going to plan on a farm right here let's go ahead and unpause it so they can get actually started there we go now immediately they're starting on those uh, farms which is exactly what we wanted from here what we're going to do is remove this couple of uh, riffraff items in there as we need that spot to get up above and it looks like they started on the actual deep water pump and where can we look at for our water actual uh, tanks we're gonna look at right here think we're gonna look at five of them for the first drought and then from there what we're gonna look at is some science as that's gonna be massively important and we, we probably will pause these temporarily and from there we're gonna look at a lumberjack an actual lumber mill let's place it right there and a power now the power is one to one and we're just going to do something about like that. As that will be needed to actually get our wooden stairs to progress to where we want to be. Excellent. Our first uh, water uh, pump is done. We don't have any unemployed people. So let's go ahead and un or pause this one. And it looks like we're starting to clear out some area. And what we're going to do is as we make this road further out, we're going to place more of them up top. So we're going to keep moving that. Now the, the actual farmhouse is going. We're day two, so we're in kind of good shape here. Let's uh, prioritize it to the top to make sure that they don't actually do anything else. And pausing it, we're going to pause one of these so that we get this actually started. Now we're looking for roughly 100 spots because that will give us enough carrots for 20, 20 people is what I believed I figured it out. So we're just going to do a couple of sections that are 5x5 five five real quick. And what we'll want to do is set this to... Prioritize planting and getting going there. They're starting the planting because we got to get this actually going quick enough that we we beat the first drought. Good. We've got room here for our, our pathway and we can probably delete out these two. Now, I haven't figured out a hot, actual hotkey for delete yet. If you guys know one, please leave it in the, the comment so I don't actually have to click down here and we'll plan on on this side two gathers and once they're built we're going to pause them and then up here we're going to look at two more actual far uh, uh, foresters the lumberjacks because they cover a bigger section of that area excellent now it looks like they're starting on the the barrels which is good let's pause these while the barrels build we'll probably go ahead and prioritize them up so that we can start filling them and then we'll get the next deep water pump and we've got no extra people at the moment, but that's okay. The next one's down. Once we get the third one, we'll we'll go ahead and uh, raise these up. And then we'll lower... Yeah, we'll probably do something like this. Do that one, 
these two, these two, and then we'll kind of come back and finish some of this other stuff. Thankfully, wood is in a good shape right now. And so we're just kind of going to keep it like that. And it looks like these are all planted, so we can pause this now. I, that's probably the best start we could have. Let's place one more in the actual district center. And we, we're going to need one more into something else, so let's go ahead and speed boost this one up here. Now, it may actually take a minute, so let's place him in the district center as well until something else builds. Since we're going to micromanage until we get to a point where we're sustainable. Yep, two more wood and that's built. We'll plan on after the two gathers, we'll plan on making our first inventor. Yeah, let's let's unpause one as we need 70 research for the the ladder. And we can drop this down so we get another uh, forester going. No unemployed people. Did we have somebody die or did I place them in something? Oh, they went into the the actual gathers. Let's yeah, let's let these guys fill up. And once they fill up, we'll we'll pause them and put them back on there. That's probably a decent idea. And let's plan on a storage in here now everything in here is going to go away at some point in time because we're gonna we're going to kind of take advantage of the fact that these guys really jive with uh, building high now it looks like they did some revamping in the actual uh tree here and from my understanding when you click on it it now actually tells you what they do i uh, good so it actually shows their effect now where before it was showing it wasn't actually showing now these guys do not are not affected by social life. Fun? No, aesthetics. They get 10% work speed and that's going to be where my first little bit of research goes is we're going to get speaking of that, we're ready to knock one more person down. It should place it into the into here. Let's pause this. Does that place it in there? No. What about this one? Nobody actually working there. Let's pause this one since it's almost full. Okay, now we've got a person. So our first little bit of uh, research, we're going to get a shrub because it has an area of effect and it will give them 10% work speed. And we'll kind of place it somewhere kind of probably near the water so that everybody gets the benefit of it. Uh, wood should be collecting now. Let's go ahead and unpause this deep water pump and we'll go ahead and prioritize that up. That way we can try to fill up all these, and then during the drought, we'll expand this out to 10. Got one unemployed beaver. Let's go ahead and... Oh, look at this. Let's uh, hit none and none, and we just want berries and carrots here. That's probably the, the route we should go. We should place one more into the district center. I think, yeah, somebody grew up. That's good, and that way they'll be able to build a little bit quicker as... Yeah, that's that's almost done. And as soon as that finishes, there we go. We can go ahead and knock one person out of there. We'll place them back into the, the res water reservoir so we can start filling these up. Now our carrots are 50%. So as long as we don't get a drought in the next two days, we get our harvest. Uh, so that makes me really happy. And we've already got our storage for it. We've got our water. We've got a little bit of research. So the next uh, gulp there, we'll go ahead and unlock the... The first decoration will take that shrub. And we should probably look at... Yeah, we'll, we'll place it right here. I was thinking that in this neighborhood it was the best, so it would be close to the food. Yeah, let's, let's drop it right there, and let's go ahead and prioritize that up so it gets moving. All right, let's uh, go ahead and unpause both of these. This way they can get building and we can get a little bit of wood uh, stored up for the actual drought. And there's our drought in three days. Hey, we got a person sleeping inside the inventor hut there. And what can we do here? We've got one unemployed. Let's go ahead and let's place them in the gather hut for the moment. Just to clear up these berries and then we'll our next one we're going to place back in our actual district hall. Now they should be getting aesthetic, which will increase the work speed by 10%. That's going to go a long ways in making things happen quicker. And we'll probably need a second one over here just to kind of affect those pumps. All right, we're going to pause this so that nobody's actually there. And it looks like we have... Well, we had somebody that was working there, so they might have uh, defaulted back into the district center or somewhere else. 
Not quite sure how that worked, or maybe I saw something and was being delirious here. Our research is coming in, and what we'll do is prioritize this up to max, and then we'll undo the inventor, and we'll set that to kind of the the middle. That way, once this finishes, we'll get the other the second inventor going. Now, the plan is to place it down here and start working to over here so that we can kind of get to this as kind of the, the long term plan. But I got to say, we've got a decent start to where we have water. We can probably pause one of these guys and move them on to building for the moment, since all of these are pretty well full. Our berries are just about done. And once they're done, we'll move the berries into probably back into the lumberjacks as wood is continuing to kind of be a struggle. And once we unlock the wooden stairs, probably the thing after that will be the the actual forester. Oh, here we go. We're starting to get all of our berries and we'll go ahead and pause the two. And we'll go ahead and put this on harvesting and, and go ahead and unpause it. There we go. Now, for the next little bit, we will need some breeding chambers down. We'll go ahead and plop two of them. As without houses, it's going to take a little bit. Without the added life expectancy of houses, it's actually going to be hard to maintain beavers. So we might as well get them growing quick. Let's pause the power. It should push it back into the inventor. Yeah, there we go. We've got two inventors going, so we should get enough research shortly. And they're starting to do the harvest, but I'm not liking how quickly they're doing that. So let's plan on a second farmhouse on this side. And we're just going to kind of micromanage where this is only going to be used. Yeah, we almost have enough logs. This is only going to be used in times of harvesting just to kind of mass harvest all of that stuff. Because that's it, it's it's that type of game. Let's plan on. As what is kind of our our bottleneck here we can't afford to take it from anything at the moment because we we have to keep the actual inventor going so we just have to kind of bear with the fact that it's going to take a minute to get that going so just a little bit longer and hopefully what we'll do is they have about three days after the the actual drought starts to get the harvest so we're going to try to get it done in that that window where we get most of it. Now we've we've got 40, 50 carrots. All right, this uh, this works. We can employ two more people. Let's take two from the town hall and let's set these just to harvesting. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and as soon as the water passes this mark, we're going to go ahead and pause the the actual building there. The berries look like they're in good shape. Let's pause one inventor. And we're going to go ahead and pause the actual. No, we'll wait for the, the actual deep water to finish. But I want more wood now. And what we'll do is as soon as. Yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and pause this and pause this. And what we'll do is place them in the actual power wheel and the lumberjack so that we can start. Got enough to unlock the wooden stairs. So we, we've got enough to actually start placing our, our stairs down so we can place some farms down in here. Yep, these guys are kind of going to town. We're going to let them go so that we get the actual bonus from it before we stop it. We want to keep research going and we only need enough lumber to get these stairs going. And then what we'll do is uh, place farms down in here because apparently they grow underwater, which is something I wouldn't have thought. And we'll leave a pathway right there so that we can go over to this hill. Because we're going to place a, a path in here. And then we're going to place a staircase up here. Oops, wrong way. One click too short of where I wanted to be. Let's try this again. We want a pathway up there because we're going to place a couple water pumps up here. Probably in the next drought. Or before the next drought. So that we can get water even during the drought and kind of maintain maybe one water pump for the time being instead of trying to uh, maintain two these guys are just about finished yeah it looks like they're gonna they're gonna get all those harvested before the actual time's up and we can probably bring them down to 
20 hour days now that I'm thinking we're okay for this first drought. Gotta tell you, the start on hard is just an absolute sprint to try to get it in time. We've got enough wood for the, the actual wooden stair. Let's take a look at what it takes to do the forester. Okay, we need a few more wood because it's going to build this stair too. We need a few more wood in order to get the the forester. I'm thinking we let it go up to about 11, then we pause both of those so we can put more into research, trying to get that research done quicker. Now the stair is done, so we're we're good. And we'll so we'll pause both of those, place it back into the actual inventor. We'll go ahead and unpause this over here. And I gotta say, these are just about done, and once they're done, we're gonna get four extra workers, which will help the the district center as well as it will help with getting more wood for the next set of our expansion. We'll probably maintain the actual lumber the, the planks and the power wheel at that point in time. Well, we'll, we'll keep this planting. All right, one more, come on, get it harvested. There we go, and now we can pause this and we'll switch this just to planting to get this done before the next, uh, the end of the, hopefully the end of the drought. Now, the nice thing is as soon as the drought ends, this will be up and going. We gain two people. Let's place one in the lumberjack. And we've got one spare person. Yeah, let's place it into the actual district center. That will hopefully maintain a little bit of building quicker. Now, it looks like these beavers don't have anything within range. So let's go ahead and delete them out and move them a little bit further down the rain. Oh, we're not going to place a forester up here as this area just won't maintain it, especially during the actual... A drought season, but we'll we'll plan on two more lumberjacks. Yeah, we'll we'll try to get them like up in here. Got a tree right here that we're gonna have to remove, which is okay. And let's mark those and build a pathway up here. Now, hopefully, let's uh, yeah, there we go. I was gonna say hopefully they actually do that first. I hope. Come on, there we go. And that should immediately take the two workers. Now we have an extra. So let's go ahead and place it in the district center. And I think we're going to be able to make it to this in the next drought. Because what we'll do is we need enough research to unlock the double platform. And then we're just going to place some double platforms across to get over there. So we just got to keep this research going to unlock it. Hey, there's the drought ending. Let's uh, get two of our lumberjacks back so they can immediately go back into water pumps. We made it through this drought with water sparing. But that doesn't mean we're going to make it through the next one. And what we'll plan on is in the next drought, once we place these walkways, we'll place some actual water pumps over here and we'll start moving our district because this area just is not going to cut it for the future. Now, we're a few short for the, the actual Forester. So as soon as, I think it was 70? 60, okay, we have enough. Let's unlock it. If we place it, if we place it up here, we can place a forest down in here during the time of the actual drought, as well as we'll be able to place it over here in the future. I placed it right here and then we put a walkway down. Yeah, let's place it there. And what we'll do is we'll get for times of non-drought, we'll get some uh some we'll probably do pine. I was thinking it would be better to do maple, but the the truth is we gotta get these going quick, and then what we'll do is we'll place more pine down there just to kind of get everything kind of settled and looking where are we at we have no available people yet we've got one building that's lacking a worker that's the forester so let's take one off of our district building now the nice thing is actually it was probably unnecessary is this is actually full let's go ahead and pause that and we should look at now that the forester is done 
Excellent. Yeah, we should look at unpausing one of these lumberjacks and placing down some more water storage for the next drought. Yeah, let's do four more right in here. Now, the berries aren't quite ready yet, so we just want to let them keep going. And I think these are going to die off, so we're going to plan on some berries down in the water as well. As this is the only way that we have to maintain our people. Now, how far does this go? Not very far. I was hoping that it would be out to like here. Maybe we can place some some blueberries in here. That might work. And then we can move our gathers over. Because I think this area remained fertile during the, the actual drought. Excellent. We can bring people over to here. So I think we're just reliant on technology now. We've got food. That was our first criteria of getting through there. And we've got water and we're we're starting to uh, maintain water. I don't want to build houses until we build here. And what we want to do is kind of match up the building of water on this this over here. And we want to build kind of up. So I'm going to need to unlock two different platforms to do it. I'm going to have to unlock the, the first platform and the double platform. And then what we'll do is we'll kind of lay out an area where the houses will go very high. And we're going to stay with barracks for the time being. And we just got to watch these berries because we're going to have to feed our our actual breeding pods as we're, we're maintaining. Now, I do want to get up to... As we progress across, we can move this actual district building over here at some point in time. Now, we don't have anybody employed. Let's actually see what that does to the our actual population by doing that. So district center, let's plan on it being this way. And let's get our path in here. Now, how far does that go? It goes all the way up to here. So we're good. That's going to be the first move to the, the new area as we kind of migrate across. And then what we'll do is we'll use kind of both of these as we move. I think that this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode as it's going to be a little bit of building up now. I'd like to thank you guys for joining. If you like what you saw, go ahead and you know leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next episode where we start moving our people.